<laughs> Yo, welcome back to the channel, people. So, uh, it, it is April 8th today. Actually, it's April 9th as I'm recording this. And we got literally two more days of the NBA. Believe it or not, guys, the season ends tomorrow, and we are on to the NBA playoffs. Probably the most exciting time of the NBA year, the NBA calendar year. I'm definitely excited, man. So, uh, let me know down below, guys. You guys should comment who y'all rooting for in the playoffs. If your team is not in the playoffs, who are you going to go for? If Or if your team is in the playoffs, tell me who it is. But on this channel, around the playoff time, we, we like to do playoff related squad builders, playoff related drafts. And today we're going to do something pretty intense, man. Something pretty crazy. We have a random number generator right here, guys. 1980 through 2018. We're going to generate this one first. Say we get like 1980, right? We're going to go to this wheel I made. Oh, look at this, guys. We got the Eastern and Western Conference seeds from 1 through 8. Say we land West 5 seed. We would take a player that is from that number 5 seed of the Western Conference in 1980. Alright, so I don't know who that team is. Uh, let's just say it's the Lakers, right? We would take a player from that 1980 Lakers roster. So yeah, man, let's get this started. Uh, this is probably going to be a pretty long squad builder, so we'll do 9 players to join our card of the day to make 10 players, okay? Anything's possible! Anything's possible! We are going to go ahead and start with the year first, so let's generate that. We got ourselves 2010, not too long ago, man. And the seed we're going to get from 2010 is going to be, ooh, one seed to start things off from the Western Conference. And I don't know who that is. Let's check it out. A lot of boring math later. Guys, that one seed from the West 2010 is actually the Los Angeles Lakers. And I mean, come on, man. I look, there's Andrew Bynum, there's Pau Gasol. But come on, there's no doubt about it. We're going to go with the bean. Kobe. The Bean, Kobe Bryant. Golly, man, I'm gonna have to start opening packs again because I'm running out of MT real quick here. What the freak? We generate, we get the very next year, 2011. What a coincidinky. What? Coincidinky. Let's get an Eastern Conference team this time. I would like an Eastern Conference team. And yes, we are. We're gonna get the East 4 seed from 2011. I don't know, man. It's probably like the Magic. I was right, guys. The 2011 4 seed for the East is the Orlando Magic. And we got some choices here, guys. Yes, the obvious is Dwight Howard. But look, man, we got JJ Redick. He's got a diamond card. We got Jason Richard. And then there's also Gilbert Arenas. There's also Richard Lewis. I, I don't know who to go with, man. I really don't. You know what? There's a diamond Dwight Howard. Get ourselves someone that can rebound, play defense. It's always important. So we're going to go with Dwight Howard, guys. All right, on to the third player. Team is looking great already. Oh, 1996. Might get the Bulls here. We might. Come on, give, give me the East 1 seed because that is the 72 and 10 uh, Bulls. But nope, we're going to get the West 5 seed, which I, I have no idea who it is. Okay, so that team is actually the Houston Rockets. Of course, uh, our favorite is Hakeem Olajuwon, but there is a pink diamond Clyde Drexler. So I don't know, man. Let me see how much Hakeem Olajuwon is going for. I know there's a new Hakeem. Yes, there is a new Hakeem that came out. And he ain't that. He's not too expensive, man. We're going with Hakeem Olajuwon. Now we got two centers. All right, guys, no more centers. We're good already on centers with Dwight and Hakeem. So uh, let's make sure to focus on other positions as we get 2010 again. I don't want to land the same year twice in one video, guys. So we're going to generate again. 1986 there we go nice throwback and the seed we are going to get 486 is oh we're getting a one seed and it's from the eastern conference if i had to guess it's probably the celtics let's see yes indeed it is the boston celtics that ended up being the number one seed in 86 and of course guys of course we are gonna go with larry bird now there is a pink diamond bill walton but like i said we don't need any more centers Larry Bird, welcome to the squad. Golly, man, might as well name this video All Legend Squad with the team we have so far. Great team, guys. A very nice team to start as we get 2006. Okay. Give me something good. We haven't really landed a low seed yet. Oh, now we will. It's going to be the West 7 seed in 2006. Guys, it is the Los Angeles Lakers again. But uh, we already got Kobe. And, you know, Andrew Bynum would be nice, but he's not in the game. I don't know, man. I guess Jim Jackson. Does Jim Jackson have a card? Because uh, we'll probably go with Jim Jackson. Jackson. He does not have a card. That's weird. Then I don't know, man. I guess Aaron McKee? Aaron McKee. Does he have a card? He probably does, man. Oh my goodness. Aaron McKee, huh? That that gold Aaron McKee actually has a A minus three point shooting, so it might be not too bad. Not too bad, I guess. But uh, we're gonna get 1980, okay. And the seed from 1980, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, dude, we're getting East one seed again. Let's go. And once again, guys, it is the Boston Celtics. We already got Larry Bird, obviously, but look. I didn't even know Pete Maravich played for the Celtics. Apparently he did, man. So Pete Maravich, welcome to the squad. Three more players to go, guys. We're almost done here as we get 2007 this time. 
and the sixth seed from 2007 i don't know who that is let's check it out all right so that team is the new jersey nets not the brooklyn nets guys the new jersey nets and vince carter jason kidd or richard jefferson basically i mean i want to go with jason kidd because we need another point guard and i'm not really quite sure if i'm content with aaron mckee but how can you pass up on vince carter you cannot pass up on vince carter you can't all right let's keep this going generate we get wow 2018 man just last year let's see and that's gonna be the east seventh seed we're landing east a lot today seventh seed from last year is the milwaukee bucks guys and uh Giannis antacumpo again i i guess we're gonna go Giannis. we're gonna use him again no I i'm sorry I, I don't like using the same cards over and over again so you know what to do something different and plus we need a point guard anyways i'm gonna go with eric bledsoe guys he has a ruby moments card that we haven't used yet let's generate the final player of today's squad builder guys this was definitely fun uh, 1995. All right. And if you guys have other playoff related squad builder ideas, just leave it in the comments, of course, as we get the Eastern Conference four seed from 1995. That team is the Charlotte Hornets, guys. And we got some choices. Wow. Robert Parrish. We also go with Alonzo Mourning. That's probably the guy we're going to go with. There's also Larry Johnson, Muggsy Bogues. Ah, Alonzo Mourning, man. I like Alonzo Mourning, but we already have two good centers. Let's go with Larry Johnson, man. I don't think we even have any power forwards yet. So we're going to go with Larry Johnson. Not too bad. Not too bad to end the squad builder, man. This was fun. The card of the day is actually fitting for the theme of this video because he's quite familiar, like really, really familiar with the playoffs. In fact, the dude has the most championship rings in NBA history. It is indeed Bill Russell, this Pink Diamond Hall of Fame card. I'm really liking the card designs this year for 2K. 98 overall card. Let's check out the attributes offensively he's going to be a stud obviously even the mid-range shot is really good three-pointer he was not a good three-point shooter obviously but what he really brings to the table is that defense and that rebounding and here is the rest of the squad right here man eric bledsoe there was an amethyst version pete maravich larry bird we're running hakeem olajuwon at power forward because look man he can actually space the floor a mid-range c three-point shooting so that, that's pretty solid right there off the bench a lot of scoring with vince kobe all right we found ourselves an opponent let's see who joined bro Ooh flex on him three i'm pretty sure this guy hit me up in the comments section wanting to play me so so let me give you this work bro let me give you this work Alrighty, here we go oh he's got a squad guys wow he's got two centers just like me this was a good matchup then man nice matchup here we go first possession man already with a pick and pop hakeem olajuwon he can knock down those mid-range shots ah 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 with it to the paint Yo, come on, wait, why are y'all switching? Did I call for a switch? There's Bill Russell, come on, Bill Russell, do your thing. Inside to Hakeem Olajuwon, Hakeem inside. Oh, yes, what I'm talking about, man. The bigs is going to be the key to the game, guys. Ooh, this guy's pretty solid. Ooh, Eric Bledsoe, what a move. Giving it to Hakeem Olajuwon, he's got the mismatch down low. Go ahead and post up Hakeem, yeah. Doing your thing, Hakeem Olajuwon again. Can you score again, Hakeem? Yes, nice little fake by Hakeem. He gets blocked, he gets blocked. No way, man. I know Bull Bumba's got his own song and all, but he ain't gonna make that. Let's go. Go ahead and push it. Pete Maravich, mid-range pull. You gotta get that. Let's go, Pete. Eric Bledsoe pick and pop again. Cutting to Bill Russell. Bill Russell finishing. Oh, yeah. Get that, get that. A user steal by me. Let's freaking go, yo. Pete Maravich. There's Akeem Olajuwon. I should have shot that. I really should have shot that. Instead, Akeem with a nice little fake and one. Oh, yeah. Let's get to the line. Ah, come on, we gotta do better than that, guys. Give me another good screen. Give me another good screen. Eric Bledsoe, nice move. Giving it to Bill Russell, and we score. We at what? Bill Russell, though, he's a beast. He is an absolute monster. Dude, this guy ain't missing right now. Okay, I see him. Larry Bird, wide open three. You can't miss that. What? He's making all his open threes. Why can't I make mine? Soon after away that goes in i what the 2k i contested that lob it to vince carter yes what a alley-oop to vince carter off the inbound and another dude one. this guy ain't missing right now are you kidding me that's really ridiculous you know what isolate kobe bryant he's got manu ginobili on him just go to the basket and finish let's go coach yep this one might be over guys we're already down freaking 10 points that goes in oh yeah that's it game over 
Obi, turn around, Jay. That's what cool. How do you miss that? You're like two feet away from the basket, man. And another. Oh my gosh. If that goes in, dude. Yeah, if I don't make this one, it's about damn. Wow, I made one. I got calls, calls. Away that goes. The what? The even Mo Bamba is making off dribble threes. Met two. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Vince Carter, please knock that down. I can't anymore, dude. I can't. I don't even care if I'm scoring. This guy's just destroying me offensively. Look at this. This is hilarious. Man, I was talking crap earlier, talking about you who wants this work, and now I'm the one getting work. This is crazy, man. See, now he's just messing around, uh, doing pull-up threes. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Are you... What? Mo Bamba? Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba. Honestly, man, I'm not even expecting to make a comeback or anything like that, man. I'm just... I'm trying to cut the lead a little bit. Shoot, this is this score is embarrassing right now. Can this go in? Wow, thank you. You know, I'm just going to shoot threes the whole game now. It doesn't matter. I, I don't know, guys. I, I really don't know. You know, I'm just going to shoot threes. I told you. Eric Bledsoe hits another three. Wow. How exciting. Oh, my God. Oh, you know what? This better go in then. Y'all better stop playing 2K. Thank you. Thank you. Pete Maravich, yay! Yo, Pete Maravich is on fire right now. Let's keep being on fire with Pete Maravich, man. Why not? Let's go, Pete. Oh, what? Come on, man. Let me be on fire for once, 2K. Ooh, I got him. I got him with a step back. Okay. Okay, Bledsoe. Okay. Pete Maravich again! Okay, Pete! Wow, well, where was this in the first half, guys? Where was this? Pete Maravich has his takeover mode, guys. He has his takeover mode. This one better go in. Oh! Okay, Pistol Pete! I'm seeing you! Pistol Pete Maravich again. If this one goes in... Pete Maravich is on fire! Does your takeover mode include defense, though? Nope, clearly it doesn't. Let's hit, let's hit Clyde Drexler with a turnaround Kobe J. Let, let's hit him with it. Yeah, to Larry Johnson, back to Kobe, wide open for three, and he got it. Man, where was this? Where was this offensive firepower in the second quarter, where we got absolutely demolished? A little longer than a few minutes later. See, that's it, guys. They're not coming back in this. Oh, Larry Bird with a half court shot. Yes, we did it. We have won the game. It don't even matter anymore. I don't care about the final score. I won just by hitting that half court shot. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Uh, he, this guy absolutely dominated me. I mean, I, he only won by 12 points, but, like, let's be honest. He probably won by, like, by 25, if we're being realistic. We were just messing around in that second half. But, yeah, man, we dropped to a 2-2 two two record against subscribers. Here's the stats right here. Here's his stats. Uh, yeah, he made just way too many three-pointers. My stats. Pete Maravich, 36 points out here looking like a plumber. Kind of disappointing, man. The, the big guys in our squad was disappointing. I thought the big guys were going to do a lot of work, but, uh, nope. Not, 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 not much great work here. But if you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like, and I'll see you on the next one, man. If you want to play me, just let me know. Peace out.